Hey guys, welcome to the Knot of the Week. Today we're going to showcase some different stopper knots. Okay, so to discuss a couple of different stopper knots, I wanted to first talk about the usage for stopper knots. So, one is either to impede the unraveling of fiber rope or whether it's natural fiber or nylon rope, you'll you're basically going to stop that unraveling. So a stopper knot would, would you know, obviously essentially be a knot at the end of this to uh, prevent this from continuing to unravel. So the other way is to impede a line from pulling through an object. So in this case, I have the spool here that I'm tying off onto and a stopper knot would just prevent it from pulling through and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So first off, I wanna start with just the generic overhand knot. Um, an overhand knot, everyone's pretty familiar with, that's probably the most generic form of a stopper knot. So if I were to put this through here and tie just a simple overhand knot, it would prevent that from pulling through. So therefore, thereby doing its job as a stopper knot. One of the problems with an overhand knot is that if it's under load or continuous load, it can be sometimes pretty difficult to get out an overhand knot. So a technique for getting around that is to tie a slipped overhand knot. So what we're gonna do here is just basically, instead of pulling this through all the way, you'll stop as you pull through an overhand knot, just like this, and tighten that up just like so. So now we've got the loop at the top, which still acts as a stopper knot, but now if we put this rope under load, we could just pull this through just like so and pull out the overhand knot. So another way that you can use a stopper knot is with a figure eight, which is my favorite way of doing it. I'm kind of averse to stop or overhand knots because I think they're a little too basic. Um, a figure eight will give a nice clean knot at the end and a figure eight will also resist kind of, if it's brushing past things that are reduced picking up um, a line or something like that as it's brushing past objects. So again, that's the figure eight stop or not and I will tie that one more time just so you can see that so figure eight just goes around the standing part and then back through that loop that you've created forming the figure eight so figure eight can also become a little bit hard to under tie under load too so a way you can get around that is with a slip figure eight so instead of coming back through once you go around the standing part and back through you can make a bite here and now pull that through. Now once you tighten that up, that is now a slipped figure eight. Same principle, it locks through and will not pull, but now if it's under load, you can just pop this out, just like that, and release the rope. So those are a couple of different stopper knots. Stay tuned for a new Knot of the Week every Tuesday, and if you're enjoying what we're doing here on our Knot of the Week series, please consider joining the Crew Leader membership linked below in the description. Thanks for watching.